Hi everyone, welcome to Wedra Studio. Today, we are going to talk about sodium. So now let's get straight to it. Sodium is a chemical element that belongs to the alkali metal group, group 1, of the periodic table. With an atomic number of 11, it has 11 protons, 12 neutrons and 11 electrons. The name sodium is derived from the medieval Latin sodium and the English name soda. The element symbol, Na, was shortened from the Latin name natrium. Although the discovery of sodium dates back to ancient times, it was not isolated as a pure element until 1807 by Sir Humphrey Davy through the electrolysis of sodium hydroxide. Did you know that sodium is the most common alkali metal and the sixth most abundant element on Earth? It comprises about 2.6% of Earth's crust by weight. While sodium is abundant in nature, it is rarely found in its pure elemental form. Instead, it is found in compounds such as sodium chloride, sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate. Sodium is a soft silvery white metal that can be easily cut with a knife. It has a low density and is less dense than water. As an alkali metal, sodium is highly reactive. It reacts vigorously with water, often resulting in a popping sound and a release of hydrogen gas. It also reacts with halogens, such as chlorine to form salts. Due to its high reactivity, elemental sodium is kept in an inert atmosphere, such as under mineral oil. Contact with moisture and oxygen in the air can lead to violent reactions and even fires. At standard atmospheric pressure, the boiling point and melting point of sodium are 883 degrees Celsius and 97.8 degrees Celsius. Its ability to remain liquid over a wide temperature range makes it useful in various applications. Did you know that sodium has a long history of human use? Sodium chloride, table salt, is one of the most well-known sodium compounds. It is essential for food seasoning and preservative. In Roman times, soldiers were sometimes paid with salt instead of money, which is the origin of the English word salary. Other sodium compounds, such as sodium carbonate, were utilized in ancient civilizations for various purposes, such as glassmaking and mummification. Sodium hydroxide is a key ingredient in the soap-making process. Through saponification, it reacts with fats or oils to form soap. Sodium compounds such as sodium hypochlorite and sodium bisulfide are commonly used in water treatment processes. They help to remove impurities, dechlorinate and sanitize water. Sodium bicarbonate, also known as baking soda, is an effective fire suppressant. When heated, it releases carbon dioxide gas to smother the flames involving flammable liquids or electrical equipment. Did you know that sodium compounds emit a bright yellow-orange flame when burned? It is often used in fireworks to add a striking visual effect. Sodium vapor lamps are used in streetlights due to their high efficiency. As the bulb warms up, sodium vapor emits a yellow light of wavelength 589 nanometer, which penetrates mist and fog particularly well. In agriculture, sodium compounds such as sodium nitrate and sodium phosphate are used as fertilizers to promote plant growth. In medical treatments, intravenous sodium solutions are used for hydration and electrolyte replacement. And sodium bicarbonate is used as an antacid to relieve heartburn and acid indigestion. Also, sodium is crucial for biological systems. It helps to maintain the balance of body fluids and is involved in nerve impulses and muscle contractions. However, excessive sodium intake can lead to health issues, such as high blood pressure. It is recommended to consume sodium in moderation for overall health. Well, that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.